Ben, start with you. How's, how's your last few days been since you've been drafted? I imagine it's been a bit of a whirlwind. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, it's it's been a bit hectic the last few days. You know, two days or three days ago, you were sitting in your home, you know, lying on your bed or something, and then to hear now being at an AFL club and being on a list, it's a big change. Um, but you know, with all the help of um, the staff here and the, the players here, obviously have been in contact with us and that made uh, made the last couple of days a lot easier. You know, it was very crazy at the time, you know, obviously a lot of us had family, friends over that sort of stuff, so when it did happen it was um, a good experience. Um, and yeah, it was a bit hectic but yeah it's it's all right now. It's all settled down a bit and it's calmed itself down which is good. What were your expectations going into the draft? Uh, I had been in contact with the Crows the most. But um, you know, you, I think every player goes into the draft with a, a mindset of you know the worst case scenario. So you're always thinking in the back of your head, what if I don't get picked up and that sort of stuff. So um, going into the draft, I was sort of thinking, you know, if I don't get picked up, you know, this is my next plan B and that sort of thing. But um, yeah, thankfully I did get picked up. You describe yourself as a player as well. Uh, I think I'm a bit of X factor down forward in the forward line. You know, I'm agile and uh, got a good overhead mark, but I can also get below my knees. And um, in one of the games for the Allies, I showed that I can bring a bit of class down back as well. Um, so that's probably the type of player I am. How beneficial was that extra year to you, Ben? Because obviously you could have nominated for the draft yep. last year and decided not to. Did you find that really beneficial playing another year in the meet? Yeah, well, another extra year I had uh, gave me an opportunity to sort of mature as a player both mentally and physically. Uh, I think had I gone through my draft year last year I probably wasn't quite at that stage to be ready uh, but that extra year you know, gave me the experience um, playing in the Naval for example with the older guys around me and uh, just adapting to that professional lifestyle and the extra year gave me a better understanding of uh, what's required to meet that AFL level. You made to sweat to like pick 75, what was that like? Yeah, um, yeah, it was a long wait, especially having family and friends over, you know. Um, there was a couple of heads that were in hands at the time. Um, my mum was stressing hard when we got to such late picks, but yeah, when my name finally got read out at 75, it made the wait a bit better. Because you know, everyone was sort of thinking, oh, he's, he's not gonna get there. But um, yeah, when I got my name called out, it was definitely made it a lot better. Matthew, describe yourself for us, please, as a player. Oh, uh, hopefully I bring. Um, I think I bring a contested side to the game and um, can go down forward and take a mark overhead. And I think yeah, just being clean is one of my specialties as well. And what does this mean to you? Oh yeah, it means a lot. You had living the dream. I mean, you know, after footy you have to go get a job, and for footy to actually be in my job, yeah, I couldn't be happier to be honest. What are your expectations for the pre-season and heading into your first year? Yeah, just to. Firstly, to get over the um, shoulder injury I've got right now, um, get over that, and um, when I'm back, just hit the ground running and do whatever the team needs me to do and really work hard and get the respect of the players, really. Do you reckon you'll be with that shoulder injury be right for the start of, I mean, the, um, uh, the pre-season games in February? Or? Uh, yeah, I hope so. I'm not really sure yet. Going to go see the doctor soon, so we'll see what he says. Was that just something you did during the game late in the year? Or? Yeah, late in the year, I got it. Um, yeah, about two games to go, got it then, so. What did you know about Adelaide as a, as a place and also as a club coming here? Oh, I didn't really you know too much. I knew that they were, um, I knew the club was a really family orientated club and all the teammates are really close and I knew that. Um, didn't really know much about the state itself. I've only been here once and it was really just in one part of Adelaide and I was pretty young so I didn't really know much, didn't really know much about it. And have you met many of the players? Yeah, uh, all the one to five year uh, guys are here right now and a couple of the older boys but um, yeah I met, met a lot of them and they're all really good, uh, real, really good blokes. Uh, Elliot I suppose just describe yourself as an AFL player? Uh, the player, I think I bring a lot of, um, for my size, probably in my endurance running and, and stuff like that so a bit of mobility for, for size and then um, the ability to go forward and back um, with, with marking and, and punching, decision making I guess in the air. How much did you learn, obviously, from your brother getting drafted by the Giants last year? Yeah, um, I thought it was a really good tool to have um, in the back pocket, you know, with with anything, whether it wasn't even footy related, whether it was just sort of off field kind of little things, recovery stuff like that. You know, he was really useful to have talked to throughout the year. So um, 
yeah, I really enjoyed having that tour, I guess. I suppose it's weird because, you know, the Crows beat on Harrison as yeah. well last year and obviously the Giants decided to match that bid. Obviously, yeah. you've moved to Queensland, so you weren't a part of that Giants Academy. That's a bit strange. They've finally got a, got a Himmelberg after yeah. two tries. Yeah, no, it was a bit funny. Um, that's why probably mum liked it a bit. It was sort of, sort of his, um, Adelaide were kind of a second team after that. Um, but, yeah, no, really happy to, to come here as well. You know, we hear a lot about how it's a... Such a great club from all, all sources. So um, yeah, really looking forward to see. What your brother said to you about being one being drafted and two by the Crows? Um, he didn't. Uh, he rang me up shortly after. He just sort of got home because he was uh, at the event, and then sort of rang me up and said congratulations. Um, and then sort of you know just that that's about it. Really, just said congratulations. Um, Tom really get to work. I guess didn't um, say too much about the club. So. Does he see the irony? And you've been picked up by Adelaide as well? Um, yeah, I'm sure there's a bit of irony there, I guess. Um, you know, maybe um, could both find ourselves here one day or, or there. So, I'm not sure. I guess, um, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty um, coincidental, I guess, yeah. Was there much interest from the Giants to, to play alongside Harrison? Um, a little bit. I spoke to, spoke to most clubs throughout, but sort of going into the night, I guess, um, didn't have any certainties. So, you always keep an open mind going in. And you play as a key defender, is that right? Yeah. So you obviously can learn off, you know, Daniel Talley, obviously another an all Australian defender here yeah. in the Crows. Yeah. yeah, yeah, so it's really good. To, and then even with forward, you know, you've got the likes of Taylor Walker, Tom Lynch and Justin Jenkins. So there's there's players everywhere you can you can feed off and um, yeah, it's really good to just really build your way up, I guess, start as your own player and, and pick off pieces that, that they've uh, excelled at, I guess. How are you folks with you, know, you and your brother being spread around the country um, now? Yeah, I'm sure it's probably going to be tough for them, but uh, still, they were, they were really happy I'm going to a good club and a good place. So, um, yeah, they were pretty fine with it. What would it be like if and when you play against your brother in a game? Uh, I'm not too sure. I haven't, haven't really envisaged it yet, but I'm sure um, the time could come one day. So uh, I guess it'd be, be pretty fiery, but um, you know, we both know what we're, what we're there to do. So. Maybe one day you'll play recruiters to try and get him on the same thing, perhaps from what you were saying before. Yeah, yeah, maybe. So um, just have to see how it all pans out, I guess.